Hi everybody, it's Miss Annie from the Wakefield Library and I am here with another story time for you. Today we're going to be reading Lily's Big Day by Kevin Hanks and this is with permission from HarperCollins Children's Books. And this is actually a little bit of a longer story so we're just going to read the one book today. So it really is Lily's Big Day. She is the star of this story time. <laughs> And then afterwards, we will sing some songs together and we'll do a little craft as well. And for today's craft, we're going to be making pop-up paper flowers. So these are pop-up because when you put the paper this way, you can see the flower pops up from it. So for this, you're going to need um, probably two pieces of paper. You are going to need a pair of scissors. You're going to need some tape or some glue. And you're going to need something to color with um, if you're using white paper like I am. If you have colored paper, you can use that as well. So let's go ahead and get started. We'll begin with our song, Hello Friends, and we like to use some American Sign Language for this one. So let's get started. Hello friends, hello friends, hello friends, it's time to say hello. Hello friends, hello friends, hello friends, it's time to say hello. So next, I always like to wake up some body parts, and do you know what I like to start with? My hands. And do you know how I like to start? With a clap, clap, clap. So let's do that. Ready? We wake up our hands with a clap, 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 clap. We wake up our hands with a clap, 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 and we wiggle our waggles away. We wake up our eyes with a blink, 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 blink. We wake up our eyes with a blink, 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 and we wiggle our waggles away. We wake up our feet with a stomp, stomp, stomp. Stomp, 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 stomp. We wake up our feet with a stomp, 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 and we wiggle our waggles away. Great job. So let's, let's jump right into our story. Sound good? I'm gonna just slide my chair a little bit this way so you can see the book a little bit better. So again, we are reading Lily's Big Day by Kevin Hanks, and we're reading this with permission from Harper Collins Children's Books. And if you like this one, you might also like uh, Lily's Purple Purse, which is another excellent and very funny story as well. Ready? One day, Lily's teacher, Mr. Slinger, announced to the class that he was going to marry Miss Shotwell, the school nurse. Lily's heart leapt. She had always wanted to be a flower girl. It will be the biggest day of my life, said Mr. Slinger. Mine too, whispered Lily. At home in her room, Lily practiced being a flower girl. First, she changed into something more appropriate. What clothes do you see Lily wearing in here? She has a lot of different things on. I see some red cowboy boots. I see a blue tutu. I see a pink feather boa. I see a yellow crown. She has a lot of stuff on. All right, so now she's going to practice being a flower girl. So can you help me out with this part? Let's do the actions together. Ready? Then she held her head high, chin in the air, and smiled brightly and raised her eyebrows up and turned her head from side to side and carried her hands proudly in front of her and hummed, here comes the bride. <laughs> and walked the length of her room very, very slowly, back and forth, back and forth and back and forth. It will be the biggest day of my life, said Lily. Who are you pretending to be tonight? asked Lily's mother at dinner. 
I'm not pretending, said Lily. I'm a flower girl. Who's getting married? asked her father. Mr. Slinger, said Lily. Really, said her mother. Really, said her father. Really, said Lily. He's going to marry Ms. Shotwell. He told us today. And I'm going to be the flower girl. You are, said her father. Did Mr. Slinger ask you, said her mother. Not yet, said Lily. Hmm, so he hasn't asked her yet. At that time, Lily's mother said, Lily, there are so many students in your class. Mr. Slinger p couldn't possibly pick just one to be a flower girl. Her father said, it wouldn't be fair. He probably has a niece, said her mother. Maybe Aunt Mona will get married someday, said her father. Do you understand what we're trying to say? asked her mother. Lily nodded. Are you sure? asked her father. Lily nodded again. After her parents left her room, Lily said, I understand that I am going to be a flower girl. Do you think that's what her parents were saying? I'm not sure they were saying you're going to be a flower girl. I think they were trying to tell her that there are a lot of other kids that might be a flower girl, huh? Well, let's see what she does next. The next day at school during sharing time, Lily said, I've always wanted to be a flower girl, even more than a surgeon or a diva or a hairdresser. The following afternoon when Mr. Slinger had recess duty, Lily picked a handful of weeds from the edge of the playground. She carried the weeds proudly in front of her and walked very, very slowly past Mr. Slinger until the bell rang, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And the morning after that, Lily went to the light bulb lab in the back of the classroom. She drew a self-portrait. Let's see what, what picture she drew here. Me, Lily, the world's best and most famous flower girl. And let's see, she put some arrows describing herself. She says, smart, beautiful, number one, better than the bride. And she thinks, this is the best drawing I've ever done in my entire complete life. Mr. Slinger called Lily up to his desk during quiet reading time. Lily, he said, I can tell that you want to be a flower girl, but unfortunately my niece Ginger is going to be the flower girl at my wedding. Lily's heart sank. But, said Mr. Slinger, I also want you to know that everyone in the class will be invited to the wedding. We can all dance together at the reception. It'll be fun. Lily's stomach hurt. This seems really important to you, said Mr. Slinger. Lily's cheeks turned pink. What happens when your face gets hot and sometimes your cheeks turn pink? Maybe feeling a little embarrassed? Mm. You know, said Mr. Slinger, I was just thinking that you might like to be Ginger's assistant. You could stand with her and keep her company until she has to walk down the aisle. You could make sure her dress isn't crooked and that she holds her flowers properly. Lily considered this. Hmm. You could remind her to walk slowly, said Mr. Slinger. Lily considered some more. Hmm. You could wear a corsage, some flowers, said Mr. Slinger. Oh, all right, said Lily, if you really need me so much. So she's going to be an assistant to the flower girl now. Lily tried to get excited about being Ginger's assistant. Weddings wouldn't even exist without flower girl assistants, she told her baby brother Julius. I have a special responsibility, she told her parents. When her Grammy took her shopping for a new dress for the wedding, Lily told the clerk, a flower girl assistant is very important, important and glamorous. Fancy, very nice. 
But when it really sank in that she would not be walking down the aisle carrying a bouquet with everyone watching, Lily pretended that her teddy bear was Mr. Slinger. She made him sit in the uncooperative chair. You can just stay there forever, she said. As the wedding drew near, Mr. Slinger counted down the days on the chalkboard. One day closer to the biggest day of my life, he would say. One day closer to the biggest day of Ginger's life, Lily would whisper. And still, at home in her room, Lily practiced. Can you do these motions with me again? She held her head high. She smiled brightly. She raised her eyebrows and turned her head from side to side and hummed here comes the bride, hmm, 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 and walked the length of her room very, very slowly, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. The day of the wedding finally arrived. Lily hoped and hoped that Ginger would have pink eye or a bad fever and not show up, but she was there. There's Ginger, and she was all ready. Her dress was straight and she held her flowers properly. Are you sure you want to do this, said Lily. Yes, said Ginger. Are you sure you're sure? Yes. Are you really sure you're sure? Lily hoped and hoped that Ginger would change her mind, but she didn't. It was time for the ceremony to begin. The music swelled. Everyone stood. The moment came for Ginger to walk down the aisle. Ginger didn't move. Mr. Slinger motioned her forward. Go, said Lily. But what happened? What's going on with Ginger? She's very still. She has big eyes. What do you think she's feeling? I think she got a little nervous, a little scared. <gasps> Ginger was frozen. Now, said Lily, Ginger was still as a stone. You can do it, said Lily. But Ginger couldn't. Everyone waited and waited and waited. No one knew what to do. Except Lily. What do you think she'll do? Let's find out. Whoop! Lily scooped up Ginger and said, here we go. Then Lily walked very, very slowly down the aisle. She held her head high and smiled brightly and raised her eyebrows and turned her head from side to side and carried Ginger proudly in front of her. So they're going down the aisle together. When she reached Mr. Slinger, everyone clapped. I knew this would be the biggest day of my life, said Lily. Lily was so excited she barely noticed the rest of the ceremony. The reception was great fun, the party after the wedding. After the cake was served, Lily coached Ginger for the next time she would be a flower girl. I won't be with you at every wedding, said Lily. I won't be able to save you every time. Together they walked back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, very, very slowly. Soon they were dancing. And soon after that, they were joined by Chester, Wilson, Victor, Julius, Mr. Slinger, Ms. Shotwell, and many others. It's interpretive dance, said Mr. Slinger. We're doing the flower girl, said Lily. They're all holding their hands in front of them proudly, just like a flower girl. 
Lily's family stayed at the reception until Lily was perfectly exhausted. But there's something I have to do before we go, said Lily. She needed to find Ginger one last time. What do you think she'll have to say to Ginger? Let's see. And when she did, she said, Ginger, when I get married, you can be my flower girl. The end. So they ended up becoming good friends in the end, right? And Lily still got to walk down the aisle. <laughs> Even though it wasn't in the way she originally expected, right? All right, so let's do just a couple songs together um, and then I'll go over how to do the craft. Sound good? So let's start, we'll do Twinkle Twinkle Little Star first. And this is fun because we can use our hands for this. Are you ready? Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Good job. So for our next one, we'll do just one more and then we'll sing our goodbye song. Uh, let's do another one with our hands. We'll do roly poly. And this is fun because we can use our hands and we can remember opposites. Ready? our hands ready. Roly poly, roly poly, up, 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 up. Roly, roly poly, roly, roly poly, down, 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 down. Roly poly, roly poly, big, 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 big. Roly, roly, poly, roly, roly, poly, small, 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 small. Roly, poly, roly, poly, fast, 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 fast. Roly, roly, poly, roly, roly, poly, slow, 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 slow. Good job. So let's go ahead and do goodbye friends together. And this is just like hello friends, but this time we're gonna use our American Sign Language and we'll say goodbye instead. Ready? Goodbye friends, goodbye friends, goodbye friends, it's time to say goodbye. Goodbye friends, goodbye friends, Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. Great job. So now we'll go over how to make our paper flower craft, if you'd like to do that today. So this is what we're making, some paper flowers. And I think I picked this one because I thought Lily would love this craft. She can carry her flowers proudly. So for this one, we're gonna need a piece of paper. You might wanna have two for this. You can use one for the background and one to cut the shapes out. And we're gonna need our scissors. And we're gonna wanna use the paper and we're gonna cut six strips of paper just like this. And these are gonna turn into the six petals on the flower. And you'll also wanna cut out one medium-sized circle and that will be the middle of the flower. So after you have your circle and the strips cut out, if you're using plain paper like me, you might wanna color them in. So you wanna do that now while they're flat. And then we'll take our colored in strips of paper and we're gonna make the ends touch just like this. And it's gonna look like a raindrop or a teardrop. And now we're gonna to wanna to use a tape or a little bit of glue to put them together. Um, I use tape for all of these in mine, but you can use whichever one you like. And we'll just take a little piece of the tape and we'll put it right at the end and fold it over. 
So this is going to be one of our petals, and you're going to bunch the petals together. Now I only have three here, but you're going to use all of them, so there will be six total. And when I put these together, I just used a little bit of tape on the front and on the back to make them stick. And then you can tape the little circle right in the center there. And once the flower is made, you'll want to glue or tape it onto your bigger piece of paper, just like this. And you can see that it's going to pop up when you put the paper sideways. So you can see the petals sticking up like that. And then I drew a stem and I put one, two leaves on there. But you can draw anything you want. Maybe you want to add some leaves or grass or a sun, maybe a rainbow if it's nice outside. So you can really make it look however you want. And then you'll have your beautiful flower. Well, that's it for today, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me for some stories and songs and a little art too. I will see you again next week. Bye, everybody.